Sea Body with Danny. The show. I haven't watched much uh, Survivor since. I don't know what what year were you on? I was way back in the day. I was on Survivor Africa, which is the third season of Survivor. Then I did Survivor All Star, which was the eighth season, and then uh, we're they're on season thirty nine now. And you won, right? Yeah, I won. I won a million bucks. A million bucks. Yeah, right, right. That's a lot of hemp, right? A million millionaire overnight. Yeah, CBD out the ass, right? <laughs> totally, totally. Although I didn't, you know, back this is two thousand and one, you know, right. so none of this was around, obviously. So yeah, no kidding. So you've seen it start from the, from the beginning, and and you've embraced it, right? Definitely, yeah. So part of uh, the reason I'm so excited about Dave and Sully and Mont Cush is that uh, you know I went through some health challenges after Survivor. Um, I had a rare form of blood cancer and uh went through all of it chemotherapy i had two stem cell transplants the whole shit now i'm I'm seven years in remission but cannabis uh was a big part of uh kind of my healing process i guess you can say you know the doctors wouldn't prescribe it so like i was here i am like bald from chemo mask gloves i'm hitting the streets in new york city like meeting my freaking drug dealer to try to get some cannabis to make pot brownies so i could freaking go to sleep at night and it was just, you know, piled that on top of what I was going through anyway, just wasn't a good experience. When we talked to these guys back in like a couple months ago or a month ago, when they just finished on the farm, uh, they actually brought you up and because my girlfriend's going through cancer right now and chemo and uh, same deal, like she doesn't get hungry at all unless like you have the right strain of weed, you know, and we live in New York. So it's, a, you know, it's not legal like it is here in Vegas. So I, I understand. And, and like the constant fear, like, is it going to come back? Is it, you know, that kind of thing? Yeah. So it's, it, that is, it's scary. It's really scary. It's beyond scary. Like, you know, a lot of people, and I'm sure people tell your girlfriend this, like, you're such an inspiration. Like you're crushing cancer. You're doing incredible. But like bottom line is like when a doctor tells you to do something, you'll die, you do it. It's like, once you're home, and once they're like, okay, you're in remission, like that's when for me the the fear set in and the anxiety and like there's so much like dump trucks full of uncertainty, these invisible scars that need healing that stick with you for your life. And I just wasn't living my life anymore. I just was not living. So I got married, moved to the middle of the woods of New Hampshire. I'm using CBD every day, kind of like a multivitamin, you know, and when I need something a little bit stronger, I'll go to more like a one-to-one CBD uh, TTC ratio. I don't really do smokables that much. Just more edible or something. Yeah, I'm more into tinctures. the tinctures is my my go-to. And um, well, now you got you got the hookup for a fresh squeeze. Fresh squeezed CBD, right? Exactly. Yeah. So I uh, I met these guys. I met Dave and Sully in the middle of the jungles of Fiji. We were competing on a reality show called Eco Challenge, and of course, like I'm pitching Sully some crazy, stupid cereal bowl idea, like in the middle of this freaking race. <laughs> and we, we just stayed friends ever since. And so when they said, "Hey, we're going to Vermont," we're gonna, I'm like, "I want in." So I moved up there. I was hanging out on the farm for a while. Like for me to personally, and I'm sure your girlfriend goes, "It's like." There's so many synthetics in pharmaceutical that I was, I was taking six or seven pills just to get at night and popping two in the morning to get up, or I could have a pop brownie, right? Right. Yeah, yeah. The natural way, right? Exactly. Nature is the world's pharmacy. And, you know, one of the chemotherapies I was on called Vincristine was derived from a rare African flower called the rosy periwinkle. So, like, you know, things, you know, synthetics are derived from, from real plant, but I was just, it would just didn't make sense to me, you know, like personally, I just didn't like taking all the pills and it was scary yeah. It's scary. And, uh, so yeah, it's just been pretty, pretty awesome. So I'm totally bought in. Uh, I'm are you part, are you part of the documentary? You're going to be part of the show. I'm, I'm an investor. Uh, I'm going to be part of the documentary. We're going to be developing a uh, line of products that I'll be associated with that I can kind of help, uh, share to other cancer survivors. That is awesome. So I think there's a real market uh, for that. No one, there's so many things out there. It's just like uh, as a cancer survivor, when you're just nervous about your health anyway, like how do you trust what you're putting in your body? And so to, I wanted to go out there. I wanted to see the freaking plant seed going to the ground. I wanted to see how it's taken out. I wanted to see how it's solvent free processing. Like all that makes sense to me. Yeah. And thanks to the, the camera teams. Now we're all going to be able to see it, which yeah. is great. Yeah. And you guys, what you're doing, you know, 
I'd say right at this stage of the industry, half of it's education. There's so many people out there that have no clue what it is. It's still a drug. We got to erase the stigma. We got to educate them on the health benefits of this incredible plant that comes from nature. And there's no better way to do it than a reality show on a cable network that's going to get people. Yeah, it's entertainment and it's like a reality show. But the bottom line is they're going to learn something and they're going to learn something about the plant and they're going to see how it's grown. And then maybe they'll want to try it for themselves. That's awesome. Thank you.